First up on the Factor, IsaiahFactor.com. There seems to be a future for KCOH radio, but it's not a future one member of Congress wants to see. Of an existing and outstanding offer for KCOH. It was a major announcement that brought a sigh of relief to fans and listeners of KCOH radio. The station would survive despite a letter of intent to buy it from a Christian broadcasting company last month. This station maintained its presence through the good times and the bad times. The owner of KCOH, Tom Patrizio, announced on air Friday he signed a lease agreement to move the African-American geared format to 1230 a.m. on the dial. 1230 is currently KQUE. Uh, we are certainly uh, aware and grateful of any opportunity, but it is a lease. Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee steps into the picture and says a community should not settle for a KCOH under a lease agreement. The member of Congress says it takes a radio station from a 5,000 watt AM to 1,000 watts. If you're a station that is now almost 60 years old or 60 years old coming up, do you want to go upwards to reach and expand the voice or do you want to go in another direction? So we wanted the station. This is where Enos Cabell comes in. The former Astros player is a man Congresswoman Jackson Lee is supporting to buy KCOH. But Cabell says despite putting an offer on the table, he has not heard back from the owners of KCOH. And so we put together a deal. Uh, we had him send a letter to uh, the Patricio group, the partners, and that letter was sent. Uh, we did not, he said they would respond back. Instead, Patrizio announced they would enter into that lease agreement for a new home for KCOH. What does that mean for the offer on the table from Cabell and his investors? For now, it remains just that, an offer with no takers. Also in the factor, Mayor Anise Parker says that rumors are not true. Parker says for weeks there have been rumors claiming she is taking a job with the Obama administration. The mayor says she's not sure where that rumor began but she will remain in Houston and run for her final term here. And finally, in the factor, those members of Houston's homeless population will be transported in style if they're in need of assistance in the downtown area. Now, the Houston Police Department unveiled its new homeless outreach van, and it's a Mercedes-Benz. HPD spokesman John Cannon says it's a far cry from the old 1999 beat-up van the unit has used for several years. Now, the van will be used to transport the homeless to various government agencies to get assistance. HPD the homeless unit has transported 270 plus members of the homeless population this year while finding housing for just over 100. The new van was donated. That's it for The Factor. Remember, if you want to read more stories, go to the blog at IsaiahFactor.com and email me with your story ideas, IsaiahCarry at gmail.com. Have a great one.